Hi, I'm Nate from Lovells Adelaide. So I'm gonna go take you through this customer's 200 series Toyota Land Cruiser, and I'm gonna show you all the modifications we have done to this vehicle since he's purchased it. In this one here, this customer's, he's opted for a, a BCDC 1240 volt. So that's installed in here under the cowling panel. He's also gone with the iTech World lithium battery pack that we do. It's a premium battery pack. Um, these ones are rated to be under the engine bay. Here it is under the cowling panel. Um, what I've installed is a Red Arc 1240D BCDC charger. So this one here, customers opted for solar input. So we've placed it right there and so you can access it under the cowling. So the BCDC, obviously, especially with this customer going lithium, lithium charges at a higher voltage than a normal AGM battery. So the BCDC amps then ups that voltage to charge the battery quicker and faster. It also acts as a battery isolator. So while you're camping using all your accessory out of your secondary battery, your dual battery, is going to keep your starting battery safe. We've also gone with the pre-filter catch can, oil filter catch can down the back. As well as also we've gone with the Direction Plus, the fuel filter. In Australia, traveling quite remotely. Service stations, they can get dirty fuel quite often. So it is quite important to get a pre-filter just to take out all the dirt and crud out of that filter, keeping that main one clean. So here we are with the ARB bull bar. Now this one here is obviously the customer's opted for color coding to match in with the nice sleek front design of this 200. We use the fog lights. They come out of the factory bar. They get reused and put back in. And it's got the LED indicators and pipe lights to the side. Coming across a bit further, the customer's opted and supplied for these steady LED bot lights. They're a fantastic bright white light that gives you a great vision down the road to spot any kangaroos come jumping out in front of you. So the customer's also opted for the Bush Ranger the ARB 12,000 pound winch. So under the little flip up, plate there's the the bush ranger winch and it's just neatly on the road safe recovery points down the bottom included with this arb ball bar rather than having the camera hidden behind the winch control box we do a camera relocation and it makes it down to the very front of the ball bar that way you can still see it it still works and you have excellent vision in front of you he's also opted for the GME UHF and aerial package. He didn't want a big bulky aerial sitting in the way of his vision, so he's opted for this smaller aerial. You will still have excellent range out of it um, and perfect all rounder for through the hills and the open plains. So here we have the Safari Armac snorkel. They're a fantastic snorkel. They're a very big wide snorkel just to allow a lot of air intake into the motor for obviously get that V8 rumbling. Up on top of his roof, he's opted for the Rhino Rack half platform. So instead of going the full platform, he's opted for half. Um, that's been installed and fitted up here. It's a great base. There's a lot of attachments to go on there. He's op obviously optioned for his shovel holder um, to click in. Lockable, keeps his shovel up there nice and secure. So at the back on the 200 with the tow bar, this customer's opted for obviously the Heyman and Reese. He's got a DO35 hitch for his caravan. We've installed just the tongue. We've done the wiring. He wanted a seven pin round trailer plug, as well as his opted needs in the Anderson plug to charge the caravan as he drives. So these are the road safe recovery points. They're a 5,000 kilo rated recovery point. They come as a matched pair to go on both sides. So you can use an equalizer strap and then pull more. He's opted for the 4.2 ton GVM. Involved with that, he gets a new strut upgrade, um, which is also what you know is a remote resi. So remote resi or remote reservoir. Um, so he can dull it down for a softer ride. And when he does load the vehicle up, stiffen it up, get the best of both worlds. Heading down towards the back, this customer has opted for a Manta exhaust system. He's gone DPF back, and he's gone with the two and a half into the three, and then into the single four inch tip at the end. So it's a very, very mean sounding exhaust. It really lets that V8 breathe and gets the exhaust gases flowing. Down the back with the 4.2, the remote reservoir um, mono shock. They're premium, they option a plastic stone guard here to cover the whole shaft. <laughs> this guy obviously takes his car off road and there's a brand new one in front of it, so it's had a good life already. The lines come off the top and around and over to the side here. So this is the remote reservoir uh, situated here. Now this one here got installed a few months ago. Um, he has been on a few trips. So on the end of it, you got the dial. You can dial it down or up, depending on the weight load in the back of the vehicle to stiffen or harshen up that ride a bit. This customer's option for airbags. The ball weight of his van, it lowered the back end. So his option for the airbags, just to uh, pick the back of the car back up and get the car riding comfortable again. With these upper arms, you notice these are the Lovell's upper arms. Uh, these are a caster correction upper arm. So obviously when you lift your vehicle, um, 
if it's a fixed position, it's going to alter the caster. So he's gone for the caster correction upper arms um, to bring it back into factory specs. Right, so some of you may not have realised the 200s don't normally come with a side indicator. Now obviously being the 4.2, increased GVM, by law he needs a uh, Cat 6 side uh, sideward rear facing indicator. So we've installed the, um, the Cat 6 side, side rear facing indicator. So here we are in the driver's seat of this 200. He's gone with the XRS Connect. It's a compact unit. The whole unit's hidden behind the dash and all the controls are here on the handpiece. So we've installed the click-on dash mount, keeps it there. It uses all the factory in between the, the panels. So that way we don't actually have to drill holes into the, the trims. Down here you notice on the, the driver's side here, he's one that kept nice and neat and clean. So what I've got, we've installed the Light Force um, Universal 200 series switch um, for his spotlights. Um, then also right next to it, you notice the, the lock-up kit. So he's opted for the torque converter lock-up kit, which is fantastic for the highway driving. Um, kicks in a bit earlier, drops the revs down, and you save so much on fuel. Um, it's really economical. Um, he's also opted for the Red Arc Tow Pro um, version three. Um, so they, we do um, normally install them just there, and um, we find it very neat, clean, easy as you're driving. You can just adjust it as you go. Um, without much hassle at all. I hope you've enjoyed the walkthrough on this customer's vehicle with everything we've done to it. If there's any more questions or queries, feel free to hit up the sales team here at Lovells Adelaide. We would love to be involved in helping build your dream vehicle.